Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Holy crap, still trying to recover from the last game, honestly. But we do have to move on here. Of course, again, it is a best out of five here for the grand finals. What a crazy game. You know, I could feel it in my bones, man. We were going to have a great finish there. I, we had one. So. I, I'm ready to quit. Ready to quit hot entirely. Ready to quit casting. I've seen it all now. I've seen it all. Yeah. Uh, Flensmeister, man. I was giving him praise yesterday for taking uh, full advantage of the, the side shop, you know, buying the regen. Yeah. I feel like that that is a guy. You know, I was talking to him yesterday, too. He's humble. He's like, I'm surprised more high-tier players don't use it. You know, I'm only a mid-high-tier player, and, you know, I do. I think it's a great thing, and he's humble. I think he's amazing. I think he's a top-tier player in my own book, and uh, huge plays there at the end, man. Come on. That was awesome. Yeah, you know, obviously, there was just so much going on right there, just doing the best to do the play-by-play -play and everything, which is such an intense moment. But, uh, you know, something we did miss, but then even we saw, as you mentioned at the very end, and we yeah. saw there actually when it was replaying with the delay and everything on the stream, uh, the, sure enough, Lensmeister buying the Codex on the Courier, got the Air, Air Force movie <laughs> ender, whatever you want to call it. The that, that was, yeah. And uh, uh, the Codex to finish off Wretched The laser Hag. cannon just I, swooping on I saw on the Codex out of nowhere. I know, I saw it too, and I'm, I'm like, like looking, looking at the around, items, I'm just like, the Codex. Well, what the hell? Didn't okay. even think about well, there's it. a lot going on. What a game, what a game, what a game. But like I said, that was just game number one and a best out of five. So Lion Esports Club, they're up one nothing. But we, we most certainly still have a plenty, plenty of series left here. Wow. So game number two, in fact, has started with that yep. said. Let's jump in. Let's take a look. All right, so here we go. Lion, of course, on the Legion side now. Complexity on the Hellborn. Obviously switching things up. Look at those blind bands. Both of them with yep. the Moon Queen once again. But Draconis for Lions and then Soul Reaper coming out yeah. with Complexity. Yeah, the, the Soul Reaper. Keeper of the Tempest battle again, but honestly, uh, it's been more entertaining lately. There's been other crazy picks to sort of compliment them, so I'm a lot more happy with that. Draconis and Soul Reaper, though. Yeah, how that that is wild. That You know, Draconis comes at a left field a little bit, really, but um, the Soul Reaper, definitely more of a reaction to last game. I mean, um, and obviously, Soul Reaper also worked against State Green for, for a Lion Eats Club in the semifinals yeah, it's yesterday. It's so true. Clearly, you hear all that... Uh, they are like in somewhat, and uh, don't want to have to deal with here for complexity. But yeah, that <laughs> that lock pull very strong there, man. I mean, you got the wild soul on top of that keeper tempest, as you were mentioning. The Ophelia, of course, rally, and then a demented shaman thrown in there. Um, so the possibility for maybe something like the DS Zephyr, but more than likely he's going to be kind of the one left out. It'll probably be between those other five, to be honest. But. We'll see. The banning phase obviously picking up here now. Deadwood, Fade, Parasite, and Zephyr so far coming out. Mm -hmm. Master of Arms still on the board. Uh, the rally obviously locked up, so looking at that. Pebbles and Master of Arms are the two major ones. Uh, Big Bird, as you mentioned, is taken out. Mm -hmm. hmm. All right. Oops, Parasite did get banned. Okay, you said that. There's yeah. the Master of Arms. Yeah, yeah. Remember, Pebbles was the first pick last game. Is quarterback open. Pebbles going to get manned out or not? <laughs> Jeremiah also just, uh, you know, we've seen him make some big plays and win a lot of games. He is still in the oh, game. Yeah. He's still on the board. Always potential for a flash Jeremiah pick. Yeah. Again, he's considered one of those, I hate using the word cheese, but one of those really heroes that is kind of a niche hero in a sense, but when, when you do see him play it, I mean, he is very impactful for your team usually. Yeah. Like, he yeah. will do a lot, so. Definitely a good representation of dairy products there <laughs> uh, for the Jeremiah. Nice. Uh, B Kid is actually thinking about the last ban. Wretched Hag is going to be the last ban coming out right here, so not going to see the Hag once again here in game number two. But first pick again, Pebbles definitely standing out to me as far as the first pick potential coming out here for Lion Esports Club even. Um, but there is uh, there is plenty else. I mean, you got your, your all your support options. It looks like even the engineer. So Engineer, Eluna, Glacius, and Nymphora all thrown out there. Um, it is going to be Engineer coming out for Lion, so definitely valuing him. You know what that uh, paves the path for. What's that? The Rally? Or the Devourer. Oh, the Devourer. What am I saying? Yeah, I'm sitting here. The of Devourer. Course. <laughs> He's waited, man. Saw the Devourer yesterday, that game three. There's the Nymph Pebbles. Eluna was on the board. They wanted the, the, the port power instead. We saw this yesterday, though. <laughs> Are we going to see it? I um, really want to see that Devourer again. Th there's about I do too. a 10,000% chance I want to see the Devourer. <laughs> that doesn't mean they need to entertain me. I mean, I'll, I'll be okay either way, I guess. But Life will move on for you in the end. Yeah. It takes some healing time, but <laughs> it, it'll happen in the end. 
Just just pick it. Just it stop. It didn't work for them yesterday against stop. Stay Green. Yeah, no, just, just pick Don't it. Don't think too much about it. Just go. Just, just yeah, click you just it. Got, you just got to jump all in. They didn't have a Soul Reaper this time. No Zephyr. You're up one nothing. Come on. That's, What's uh, on the game? Yeah, there's just the whole grand finals on the line. It's no <laughs> it's pressure. Only, only 12 Just go pick those fun heroes. Just... All right, so he's going to think about it. On Thundercat? Team. If they're not going to pick Devo, they better pick the Thundercat. <laughs> okay, that's not happening. That's included. Thinking about no. I. They it's gonna let it. it. It's gonna let it shine. Oh man. You is coming. Just let it speak for itself. Yep. I pat myself on the for back. Those for those that, that for those that may have missed yesterday once again, it, game number three, Lions versus State Green. Obviously, it's tied at one. This is it to make it here to today. Lions Esports Club. They bust out the Devourer, and you know we were talking about going into the first game. Especially with this engineer, it's all about pulling them into that devourer or the engineer energy field, and uh, when it comes together, it's beautiful. We, they did have a tempest that game as well. Yeah, and there is that tempest in that in that lock. Pool, well, they're so. gonna have a keeper or tempest or some major AOE ult if they so desire. Mm -hmm. uh, Ophelia also on the board. No master yeah, this, though, but it's actually gonna be interesting where the first pick is because. Keeper Ophelia is a very powerful combination, yeah. but you have to uh, sort of run a suicide keeper in that lot. And yeah, it's a little more awkward, but we are going to see the Devo Engineer lane probably in middle. You know, he's a hero that rate uh, really crushes a lot of these uh, side lane heroes as well in a lot of 1v1 matchups is Devourer. He can really, yeah. really own in that situation. Yeah, the hook uh, landing that. The hook and just the side lane presence at all. You give him a little bit of early farm, he can just snowball and smash. Yeah. Okay, so I, honestly, I, I think the Tempest first pick is, here is fine because in the end, yes, you're, you're giving up something like an Ophelia Keeper and Ophelia Wild Soul even, but then you just get the other of those. Unless they go Keeper Wild Soul, then that could actually you know screw you up a little. You, you would then have to run something like a, well, no, they could do like a Tempest mid even uh, with the lineup that they have put together. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I, yeah, I can see why Hanskin's definitely thinking about this quite a bit. Well, there's uh, yeah, Ophelia Wild Soul. Uh, Wild Soul Keeper, very powerful in their own right. Rally is on the board, though. Very big power hero at the moment. With the Magmus pickup, though, they don't really need the Rally on the Hellborn team. Yeah. So they're not really concerned with that. Down to 13 seconds and counting. Okay, they're going to go to Wild Soul in the end, knowing that they're going to get a jungle, obviously, no matter what. So uh, no matter what happens here. In fact, let me actually <laughs> get that chat disconnect right here. Yeah. Apparently by uh, apparently this Friday that should be fixed. The whole DND bug. Actually, do typing D D DND will actually do something once again. That'll be nice. Um, all right. So now B Kid's gonna obviously put some thought here as far as the response. I mean, you gotta think it's one of those three. Okay, it is gonna be the keeper. Yeah, uh, the keeper route, you gotta think of Philly here. I mean, I just I can't see nothing. We saw. We saw. The, yeah. I'm just looking at their lanes. I mean, you go rally, yeah, but yeah. Nah. No. then you have a jungle wild soul, and it gets all weird. Well, Hanskin's run it actually. Now that I think about it, he has run it. So it's yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, remember they had they had the rally in combination yesterday, and a lot of the jumps, a lot of the pickoffs from yeah. that pebbles were mitigated because of that rally being in position. So, I mean, oh. this is more in line with the strategy they ran yesterday. Obviously, instead of a tempest here, they're running the wild soul, but. Uh, this is more of that strategy, and also rally with the engineer. You get some push going on. I don't know. It's uh, Yeah, it is, but I'm thinking about the laning phase. I mean, Wild Soul can jungle for sure, way. but it seems like he's so much better in that suicide role. It, it does. It does. Um, still, I've seen lines do this. Um, I mean, they... Hmm. They, they pass up a failure for this. I'm going to keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you say. will. <laughs> but they do have another point center. They do have a way to save their teammates now with that push against the Pebbles initiation. And you know what? Mm -hmm. it, the it, sustained it, damage it, output, listen, the, the sustained damage output coming out here for Hellborn, they're a lot about their initiation and their burst. It's not so much like they have a, a carry, so to speak, that can take them really late against this Wild Soul if he's farmed up. So if you can save sure. a hero like that with a pushback, with a rally, their initiation gets a little bit flustered. Uh, the, the bubbles was another key point of this line. They had the bubbles and they had the rally. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the bubbles there for the, you know, maybe breaking their initiation of R2, catching them as they begin to jump. So they're sort of staggered. They're going to sort of be only half initiated against this wild soul here. And yeah. Okay. 
It, yeah, I, again, I will say, too, for the lineup that they picked, the idea, it does seem like Raleigh maybe fits better. But, my, my again, my, my concern was more so just the, the laning phase in general mm -hmm. and specifically with the Wild Soul going jungle. I mean, sure, a suicide a suicide uh, rally in this case, obviously, you can do just fine there. It's really the jungle Wild Soul. What kind of an impact is Hanskin going to have? Um, in general, you know, he doesn't really have the biggest impact until he gets that mocker really in sure, but sure. Uh, how long will that well, be is the question. Yeah, I mean, we saw yesterday Engineer plus Devo on their own without any Tempest ganks or anything like that. They were able to do just fine, mm -hmm. get kills on their own. Uh, Rally was up to, I mean, we, a lot of times you aren't seeing these junglers even get active to level 6 anyway, so yeah. you could argue the laning phase itself early on isn't too impacted. Now, you see what Complexity is doing. They actually, they're sending the Magmus solo mid here against this, and it, it definitely makes sense. I mean, obviously Magmus with that Lava Surge, mm -hmm. uh, he can be able to, he's able to get away quite effectively if he happens to get hooked in by this uh, Devourer, and who activates the Rod, of course, to follow. So he has a getaway mechanism, basically. That'll make him just fine. So again, just like last game, Complexity is going to value that Pebbles farm. They're going to put him in the short lane, partner up with Nymphora, at least for now. And this will box out Krebs. I guess this is exactly what happened in the last game, really. <laughs> Krebs in, in the Suicide Rally, and then he got the Nymph... Well, it's actually Nymphora instead of Glacius, I guess. Right. Well, well, Luna. Or Luna, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the Nymphora is definitely going to help Pebbles farm steroid even more. She can always stack the woods. He can go kill it. But that's only if you have a hard time in lane. Obviously, he's just going to have a great, great time here. Mm -hmm. I'll get that early portal key in. With the Nymphora, we know the effects of that. Yeah. Looking forward to this middle lane, though. Devour, Super KGE. As you expect with the Devour, making some pretty big hooks yesterday. We'll see if uh happens to be the same today for him. Definitely going to use that here. Yeah, the... All that Lions is trying to do is hold out and do well enough into the mid game until the mock comes out, and then they'll know. Uh, you know, hopefully from there they can win some of these fights, go even in trades, and they have a wild soul for late game, man. Mm -hmm. That says it all. Yeah, a uh, wild soul. Is, it, I mean, you can it's say in a sense it's really two heroes in the end. I mean, between the boo boo and the wild soul himself, really. And you know, as we've said before, you have you know, technically the twelve inventory slots, but yeah, very very powerful into the late game, getting there. So. Uh, I love the positioning here in the middle lane. I mean, obviously Devour and Engineer, they're, they're making the best of their positioning. They're taking full advantage of the fact that Magmus is very susceptible to being killed and, you know, positioning themselves appropriately to do so. Um, so making life difficult on B-Kit, to say the least. He's still sitting only on that one creep kill. But, you know, staying alive and at least getting some levels here is really his main focus. But mm -hmm. it is going to be difficult. Top lane, Rally going to have to compel away before Pebbles does a little bit too much to him. Just something to keep in mind if Nymphora gets a little bit overzealous and we see an Engineer roam with a good rune. Rally does have that point stun. Can combo very well with Engineer for a potential pickoff onto a support that might be trying to box him out. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the last game as well uh, happened. So then you do have your junglers again. The Wild Soul taking a while oh. here to before he makes something happen. Oh, yeah, middle lane. There's the Lava Surge right before the Kex stun hit. So of hook course. does connect, but as as expected. Still, make the getaway. makes him use up a lot of his regen there, and he's already suffering on gold. So yeah. now he's out of mana for another lava surge. So yeah. now he needs to be able to play extra careful. Well, Devourer also had a mana for a hook, though. Yes. That well, is a bottle problem. is here. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but then he's got one. Yep. 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 Uh, but yeah, Wild Soul versus Tempest is what it's coming down to when it comes to the jungle versus jungle. Obviously, you expect Tempest to have a much earlier impact than Wild Soul. But again, as you're stating. Really just getting Wild Soul to that point of uh, the mock here mm -hmm. is uh, the absolute key, as it usually is. So okay, keep a close eye on Hanskin there. Playing the Wild Soul to see how that progresses. He's going the Alchemist Bones route as well, it's just really trying oh, to secure that late game. Yeah. Yep, he does get the Glyphs of the Swift first. You're right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Does help him reach it faster if he ultimately. I mean, what do you think? Up. Do you like that or? I, I given that. It's hard to say because you're like, oh, he needs the mock to fight, but if they're good enough at avoiding fights, it's the kind of thing where in a game like this, all they need to do is really thrive in the late game. Mm -hmm. So, right. yeah, I do. And it also helps him farm a little bit faster, given that the boo-boo uh, with those uh, yeah, gloves of the swift. I mean, who <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> gloves of the swift. I mean, it does help him farm a little bit faster, building up to it as well. So, yeah. hey, if he gets it early enough, yeah, I'm okay with it. Mm hmm so definitely, again, we'll see uh, how the progress continues to be for that. Uh, Bubbles, in the meantime, he's 
Him and Keeper of the Forest going back and forth. 22 and 3 bubbles, 23 and 1 Keeper. Obviously, lane positioning, a little bit of a struggle here for Flensmeister. So, Moomi and her on Keeper is able to get some good farm out of it. Uh, but for the most part, again, it is a back and forth there in that uh, bottom matchup. Top lane, Pebbles, absolute free farm as expected. 32 and 18 here for uh, for Haxrin, actually. Yeah, just noticing that. But Haxrin playing the, the Pebbles this time around, of course. As B Kid, obviously true, on the Magnus true, here. True. Oh, middle lanes. We're talking about compel coming in. Well, Raleigh's coming in with that compel. Oh, that's huge. If he if he gets hooked and tries to get away. Mm, are they gonna go for it? There's the hook. It yeah. is B Kid right there. Side step not successful. He goes in, but there's oh, oh you win! Raleigh! No! Repson, no! <laughs> oh, he's so mad. What was that? Oh, he completely misclicked. That was Oh, it, it, I will say again, it is no excuse in the end, but the compel it, it does work a little interesting with the whole yeah, uh, the whole there having a, to click and then position and whatnot. But yeah, there's actually a moment last game too where I was freaking out because it looked like there was a perfect double sun up for rally, and the, I mm -hmm. think they were pushing bottom base, and he actually compelled backwards, like moonwalked backwards instead of getting the double sun. <laughs> I was like, that couldn't have been intended. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunate, nice nice thought process there. They really needed that blow loss because they are falling behind in resources early game. They are running the Wild Soul jungle. Mm -hmm. uh, Would have been a huge pick off onto the swag. I mean, that, that was a blow loss kill. That compel hit, the keg stun would have oh, hit. Oh, there's no, yeah, no absolutely, question. No absolutely question. Absolutely Even without kill. the keg stun, it would be fine. So. Yeah, that's, it, it's got a sting definitely for Lions and especially Krebsen. <laughs> But at the, in the in, in the long run, though, you know, you just got to move on. Yeah, no, it, it happens, and it's not the first or last mistake we'll ever see. And I'm yeah. sure we'll see at least uh, 30 more of this game, <laughs> only half of which we'll catch. So yeah. that's uh, Very true. I don't mean just for, I just mean for everybody. So oh, of course, yeah. Now again, it's just got to move on from it. In the meantime, complexity is pushing this top tower. You do see rally nearby. He's posing a little bit of a threat. He may go for it. No, it's not worth the risk. He's going to fall back. And meanwhile, in the middle lane actually. BKD using those illusions right there, kind of harassing someone and making some issues happen. So uh, he's staying alive ultimately. But this top lane, Black City may just keep going actually. Level 7 Tempest now has that Ring of Sorcery, of course. You got Nymph 4 on top of that with that Volatile Pod and the level 1 Grace of the Nymph. So uh, they're going to get this unless we see a very short response here from Lions. I don't think they are. I don't think they even got the TPs for it. This could very likely be another tower kill here for Complexity. Yeah, they're playing it safe though. They they're poking. Uh, what about ports for mid lane? Not really too much coming out here, so it is going to be a free mid tower. That's good. Yeah. Tower. At least Alchemist uh, Bones. making something here. Okay. Alchemist Bones are up. There you go. That's uh, that's very effective for Wild Soul, of course. Bottom lane Bubbles. Bubbles does have a TP, but again, it would just be him and Rally. The yeah, they're going to give up that secondary tower. tower. So Complexity does ultimately get the better of the exchange. Yeah, we the two for one. We did see this happen last game. Mm -hmm. um, they did give up the two top towers, or I guess it was their bottom towers last game because they were Hellborn, but they gave up their two uh, short lane towers very, very early. Yeah. So Alchemist Bones just officially delivered there to Wild Soul. Bruce has them on himself, and get, watch that GPM closer and closer now. Bubbles in the meantime of the bottom lane, a lot of trouble right here. Tempest running in, here with the force coming in as well. Has that root, have the Tempest ultimate. There's a Tempest First ultimate. Many. The Zeal stun on top, and Bloodlust kill will officially go to complexity. So again, you do look back once again at that middle lane if it wasn't for that miss. No. I mean, that could have been a bullet for no. Lions instead, but I know complexity gets it now, and they are going to push this bottom tower here. And again, I don't know if they're going to be stopped. I mean, you got Tempest and Keeper. Very strong push teammates together, of course. Well, he has his ultimate now and a town portal on him. He's able to react with it. I mean, it looks like they're shaping up like they want to. Devourer is looking for a hook opportunity. He's not able to find it with all the creeps. There we go. He's going to charge it. Gets the hook on a Tempest right there. There is a root, like you said. Give it the force. He's going to use it. Yes, he is right there. Just a little bit too late, though. Compel already happening. Tempest one and falling. Song of the Sea going to be coming out. Kelfield catching both, actually. And four is going to fall. Do they have any vision for the invis? It doesn't look like it. So Moomiander will survive. They did get the tower kill as well. So again, still complexity. Yeah, worth dropping the tower though in my book. Yeah, uh, two kills there. Just take what you can get. Get uh, response to the momentum. Keeper root was used. Uh, Tempest ultimate oh, was used. They do have portal key now in Pebble, so they can get a pick off. But yeah. they do not have. Well, Pebble, Pebble, Pebble sh did he show it? Not, yeah, he yeah, showed he it. shows top lane. So. Yeah. 
Only level 7. I mean... And 4 is level 5 still, though, so they don't have that yet. Yeah, but we see Hanskin already, you know, he has the Alchemist Bones. He's up to 320 gold per minute. 1,200 gold saved up now. Oh, so. big hook in the middle, and they're devour right on top. In comes Rally. He thought about doing a seismic slam, but realized the compel would be enough. Guaranteed it. And gets the kill on a B-Kid. Very good timing. I mean, that's... You got to make sure to hit that ultimate right after because the lava surge from Magmas after the hook, and he gets away. So, again, well played right there. Keeper of the Force doing some Legion Ancients. He's going to be spotted, but mm -hmm. well, will eventually get away. Nice uh, reserve shown by Rally there not to use his compel, knowing that wouldn't actually do anything in the end. So, mm -hmm. saving that mana. Uh, what was I going to say? That something I was looking at here. Give me a moment. Got to rechannel the energies. You mentioned that were. Uh, the Portakion, obviously. Pebbles. Oh, this is going to be something stupid that I always say as a joke. <laughs> something no. about him supposed to like seismic slam over and over again over the corpse just to taunt him or something. Or uh, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> just the the I, see, I feel like I don't see that enough. I feel like with all the characters we have in competitive play, I don't see enough after a kill like Tundra resummoning the call of the wild over and over again to roar on top of a corpse or yeah. you know I, an extra taunt on top of the smackdown. Exactly. So really rubbing it in. If you're in the pro scene and watching this, I want to see more of that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Pebbles is way up there, as is Keeper and Tempest. Those are the top three farmers in the game right now. But Bubbles, Wild Soul, and Devour are all very respectable farm themselves here. Yeah. For uh, for Lion Esports uh -oh. Club. So, yeah, what is. Oh, Keeper may kill the Courier. There's no, only a ward no. on it. Okay. <laughs> he wasn't going to. Yeah, the, not not enough. <gasps> he was spotted, though. Yeah, we do see the Wild Soul engaged. And actually, his... if they have any type of vision, Engineer yeah, does have a rev. Uh oh. He puts the rev down. Keeper the Force off to the side over here, though. Let's see if Keeper is going to fall for anything. They're out of revs, right? Oh, gee. They are now. He just placed it over here, so to the right. Yeah, Moon's going to go the smart way. <laughs> not a big deal. Riser not farming during all of this. So yeah, a it's thing. a good distraction, if anything. I'm still in position to make something happen, but he doesn't have his team there, so. Another rev's put down up here on the cliff. They really want to find him. Yeah, that could be. That could be the difference maker, be actually. Uh-oh, he's low enough now where he can get owned. Oh, no. Oh, God, Wild got to back him up. Wildsoul needs some trouble. There we go. There is going to come out Wildsoul. Will he end up falling? Bubbles coming in. He's going to be Devour hooked away, actually. Keeper the Force now trying to run away. But again, the vision is nearby. Is this going to be enough? Holy crap, it might actually be <laughs> enough. The Rod's activated. There's the Devour right there. He does spot him. And Moon Meander is going to end up falling in the end. So... <laughs> Oh Holy man! Holy crap! Very good defensive hook right there initially. Yep. To save Wild Soul. That was huge. Well, that's two. We see the compel able to save teammates, and we also see the hook able to save teammates too. So when you're all in, pretty big. Nymphora is level six now. Pebbles with that portal key hasn't been able to do anything with it. So yeah, it's it's nice and cool that he got it early, but yeah, Alliance do an excellent job sort of positioning themselves where he's not able to take advantage of it. And right here, Wild Soul already up to 2,200 gold with those Alchemist bones. Yeah, that Alchemist Bones work, man. I mean, <laughs> it works, and uh, <laughs> in a case like this, it's just going to make his light game that much stronger if he's able to. Oh man, keep it up. Wait, what? How does? Was what? Um, <laughs> look at Nymphora. Mm. Oh my God! What? Nymphora just killed Wild Soul's Alchemist Bones. What? They picked up the Alchemist Bones for some reason. They were on the ground. They picked them up and just killed them. What? Wild Soul doesn't have Alchemist Bones anymore. What are you? When did that happen? Why? What are you talking about? I don't Why? know. Why? I, Why? I, I look at Nymphora. She has fucking Alchemist Bones, and I'm like, wait, where did this come from? <laughs> and I what? Realized it was on Handskins. <laughs> oh my god. He doesn't have them anymore. Did he just realize? He's like, oh I, my god. Why would he even drop them in the first place? Just switching them between him and his bear. I guess. And he missed it because he was putting on the hero when he <laughs> oh uses it. Oh my god. I know why it happened. This is oh hand skin. They are so much further behind now. <laughs> so much for that. Oh no. Oh gee, that is huge. <laughs> that is huge. That is nineteen hundred gold on top of amplified gold. That he's never gonna that get back. Just never he's gonna never get gonna back. get that. Oh my oh, god. Oh god, how long were those down? I feel so bad for him, but I that's I, wow, I mean, talk about seeing everything here in the series, man. <laughs> I just need a moment of silence for the I, that, I, Yeah. 
I'm still I'm still a little shocked by that. I I had to I had to I I was seeing what I was seeing, but I had to compute what I was seeing for a second. I'm like, am I really seeing this right? Pebbles is gonna jump into the meantime on a wild right here. The hook's gonna come out of his beacon though. So Magmus actually now in a little bit of trouble, but Wild Soul ultimately will survive again. He wasn't ulti form. There's that turnaround on a Pebbles. Chuck gonna be his big tab. It's all the bit coming out though. Wild Soul is gonna end up falling fa uh, right there. And Ford doesn't have his heal stun just yet. And Magmus is actually able to make his getaway right there. As Complexity is going to fall back as a team. Rally in the meantime, uh, he was kind of going at it with the Keeper of the Force in the middle lane. But it does end up being a kill on a Wild Soul for nothing. So <laughs> that has just got to suck the momentum out. Or any type of just positive out, though. It really does. If you're lying Esports Club, man. Because <laughs> that was the, the thing that they were really falling back on that they actually had going for them. But... They had a lot going for them, but that was like the icing was on the, the cake, thing, I would say. Yeah. So, I mean, I think they had a lot going for them. They were looking damn strong. Yeah. Oh, man. I can't. I was literally face palming here. You can see I'm just sitting here mm -hmm. just taking it all in. I feel so bad for him, honestly, because I know why it happened. I know how it happened, but the fact that it happened is just rough. And At here's another time, gank attempt. Yeah, top yeah. Bubbles at the top lane. If we're obviously TPing in, this deal's on right on gun. top. Oh, the take cover. Not going to be enough. And Flensmeister falls, so. And now we're going to start seeing more and more of that, obviously, in that combination. How about this? Tempest does go the first item portal key. Well, I guess more so follow-up, but yeah, just with the portal key here after the Ring of Sorcery. Yeah. Help keep up the aggression. Lions Esports Club, keys. if you win <laughs> that would the face be. of adversity of a game <laughs> like this after having dropped your Alchemist Bones, I will. That would be epic. Oh, boy, that would really be epic. It, it would be epic. That, uh, it, would, it would be epic for, for sure, Lion. It would also be a little bit. Be embarrassing. Embarrassing, yeah, for complexity. <laughs> Knowing uh, the huge start that you had, especially Maybe because of that's what it, No, no, state. you know what? It's a mind game. I said players don't do enough sort of like outside of the taunt, mind taunts. Games, yeah. No, not mind games. It's like the taunts. Yeah, the, the taunts. Like, uh, the, maybe that was a taunt. Say, totally. hey, take my alchemist Because there's not $20,000 on the line or anything. It, <laughs> it's about style. It, that's right. And, style is uh, part of it. Yeah, our, our Swedes here are. They know the first thing about style, of course, so. <laughs> wow, Hanskin, that takes it to a new level, though. I mean, that really just puts yeah. a whole new spin on it. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it's possibly it. You're, you're right, that's possibly <laughs> just the whole mind game's coming on. Uh, Walsall does have 2,800 gold saved up now. I mean, <laughs> even after that, he is still managing. Uh, obviously, at this rate, he wouldn't oh. dare go another Alchemist Bones. He's just going straight for the, <laughs> the mock here. Question. Would you tell your team, or would you keep it a secret to yourself? Well, uh, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> would you be like, I until someone says something like, hey, where are your alchemists? Would you like, oh, uh, I just had a deal with them. About that. <laughs> I don't know how to explain all right, this. All right, all right. Henskin, you, you've proven your worth to me. I'm going to stop. It's, a, it's an unfortunate circumstance, and you are still the man. All right, overall, though, um, we do have complexity. Another tower push coming out. 8,500 gold lead now, 3,600 experience lead, so... Again, clearly across the board, things are looking very good for Complexity right now. Uh, when you look at the overall picture in this game. Uh, we do have Pebbles at the top lane, though. Might be in a little bit of trouble here. If Haxorn hangs around, look at all five of the members from the Legion side. Bubbles doesn't have a portal key, but he does have that uh, that Shell Surf to initiate in with. So we'll see if uh, Haxorn maybe gets a little bit overzealous here. Doesn't look like for now. Oh, Obviously, they do got Devour with the hook as well, but nope, he's going to portal key away. Before yeah, he's, he gets caught. he's low mana, so at least they have some time here. They're just waiting, though. They're trying to make something happen. They're waiting. They got the Devo. Oh, God, my heart just hurts right now. <laughs> it's, it's hard to move on from that, I know. It is. Bound Die just picked up on Nymphora. That's pretty big right there. Of course, for the Hell One team. They now have four portal keys. Magmus, Pebbles, Tempest, and Keeper all have a portal key on top okay. of Nymphora. <laughs> Well, that's, port around. they're sort of built around to uh, mitigate the effects of portal keys with the effect of being able to save each other True. with the energy field. So being able to use that, they are at 9,500 minus the alchemist bones as well as gold. But they, uh, <laughs> they can deal with that sort of. Yeah. Magnus actually coming in here, going to bottle up the double damage rune. He is level 11 in the meantime. So of course has that big eruption to work with. So. As a team, Lion Esports Club again pushing the top tower, so it seems like they've definitely just gotten over that fact of <laughs> what happened earlier, and you know, life moves on. It, it's sort of the high picked up. I, again, 
honestly, the amusing thing about this is we're still going to see about a 21, 22 minute mock of brilliance. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's honestly not bad. I mean, it's not ideal in the end. It's and it jinxed him. Would have been a lot sooner, obviously, but it, it's still not horrible by any means. And we've seen Wild Souls get Mocker Brilliance at this time and definitely still do very strong. We've seen their teams be end. down by further and yeah. see them win still. So. Exactly. So even with such a huge, huge blunder, uh, there still is a possibility here for Lions Esports Club. So Yeah. Um, and it's, it's just yeah, he's, still, he's still an awesome player, right? No, of course. You can't. Yeah, it's just like, like you said, it, it's so just my like, a situation I mean, to be in. But we we, we got to move on from it. I mean, let, let's just uh, let's okay, just okay, okay, I'll be make the it last time. We'll make a pact. Yeah, that's the last time we'll touch in it. At least to definitely could be the last the time. It's never gonna come up again all game. <laughs> Absolutely not. Especially it's, not the end of game review. It definitely will. <laughs> He's gonna make his way to the top lane and uh, with Devour and Bubbles actually to maybe. Uh, uh, make more of a push up here. Obviously, the, the first tower is already taken out. So, Kongor is being attempted in the meantime by Complexity. They're just going to go for the the quick Kongor kill. Obviously, if you're Lion Esports Club, they don't have any type of vision. In fact, look at the whole map right now. There is very little to no vision for, for Lion Esports Club here. It is being dominated by Complexity. Obviously, the Bound Dying and 4, I'm sure, helping with that. And with the way this game has been going right now, it's... Uh, it's understandable, to say the least, but Congor's going to kill, be killed right here. Most likely, Pebble's going to pick up the token. He has some full work. He's well on his way to a shrunken head with the Mighty Blade, 1,300 more gold saved up. And now, of course, he has the uh, the token of life right here. So Very close to that mod. Just needs a few hundred extra gold. Hopefully, you know, four board or something sneaky comes out to him because he is, he is right there, man. I just yeah. need to see it. Uh, need to see it because I'm going to be tense until ooh, it happens. Oh. Tempest. Okay. In danger zone, Tempest. Well, there's an envious engineer, but yeah, he's going to portal out. <laughs> yeah. Not going to risk anything by any means. So well, they all get on time. With an afford port. It's not something they want to do right now. They just want to play it safe. Take course, this little yeah. late game. That I don't blame them. I don't blame them. I do the same thing. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't want to have to deal with that surprise here from, from complexity. So Arcana just picked up a Magmus in the meantime. On its way yeah. to that uh, Hellflower, of course. Complexity may make a little bit of a push here. Astrolabe just finished on Keeper of the Force. So, again, all across the board. Some very sound items. See how they have four Wait. of their five players over 300 gold per minute here. Question. What's up? No, it wasn't. I was going to say. I, I didn't see where it happened. You said it was on M4. I was going to ask if it was something like when the Keeper was invis there before they knew he was there, if he was rotating if the Keeper grabbed it initially. No, I don't believe so. In M4, it was like down here near the oh, pole okay. camp. Where okay. Nefor and Pebbles are right there. And Nefor somehow had it, whether they just found it or something, but... Okay, I would yeah. pass it off like a relic. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was <laughs> about that pack to me. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. he does finish the Mocker Brilliance, by the way. So about a 22-minute Mocker Brilliance. Again, at least he yeah, has very it. strong. He doesn't have any boots on him, granted, but still. He has a 22-minute Mocker Brilliance. Yeah. Uh, middle Tower is going to be pushed here by Complexity. Obviously nothing going to be the done by Lion Esports Club to stop that. Tower. So Complexity... Will they actually keep going to the base? I mean, it's still fairly early on, but <laughs> with uh, what you have going for you right now, why, why not, I guess? And it looks like they are going to start breaking into the base here. Uh, so going for the middle tower. Shell Surf going to be used, kind of cleaning up the creep wave a little bit, but they don't have anything like a barrier idol just yet. But still got plenty of push to work with. Walzel has poured it back, though. Again, has that bear with the Mock of Brilliance now. So if you're Complexity, you want to start keeping that in mind. Obviously, the Mocker Brilliance is a great counter portal key tool, with that said. Speaking of that, the portal, I, portal uh, key is here. I, I just received some very entertaining info. What? I'll let you read. I'll, I'm not sure if you can read it from there, but uh, Hanskin means glove in Swedish. The glove lost the glove. <laughs> okay. The okay, that's it. That was just the last little... Okay. Oh, my All God. All right. <laughs> Does and stuff. I feel like one of the chat trolls of this because <laughs> I love. Okay, all right, all right, all right, Can't all right. Help it. All right. Yeah, he doesn't have a boots though or anything in Wild, so him or, or Boo Boo, so still struggling with that, obviously. Yeah. Um, he does get the Mystic Vestment on himself though. So yeah, no, he's he's, up a bit he's doing more. just fine still. Um. Devour and Rally both with their Helm of the Black Legions here. Bubbles does have the Portal Key as well. 
Yeah, I, I would like to stress the fact again that we talked about the fact that the late game definitely does belong to Lion's favor and they are tanking up hard. Mm -hmm. um, and with the Engineer uh, being the bane of portal keys, I mean, Trunken Heads, of course, do cancel out Engineer ulti, so not so much in this case. Yeah. Uh, you know, Devourer Hook can cancel a Tempest ulti through Trunken Head, but a lot of the times the way they're going to initiate is going to be through Hook plus Energy Field in the first place, so... yeah. Sure, and okay, yeah, bite if you get behind him, but let's be realistic. A Tempest is probably going to position himself to where it's not an issue. Yeah, it's one of those cases where if the positioning works out, sure, but it's very difficult. So yes, it can do it. But effectively do it. Uh, we do see uh, Lion Esports Club. They're, again, they're kind of setting up the top here, but Complexity has been doing a great job of this whole game of really just sticking together. They're not giving Lion Esports Club any, any gank chances, really. I mean, right now there is Riser on Tempest. He is somewhat nearby by himself, but again, you also are dealing with an Infora, who's still level nine, but nonetheless can at least support one person with her, and kind of set up a turnaround if you're not careful. So, Franzi going for the. Uh, he's just actually pushing out the bottom lane. I thought he was gonna maybe place a ward. Actually, he's coming back yeah. in now, and there it is. <coughs> just wanted to go the creep wave go by, so it wasn't spotted doing so. Bubbles will clean up the bottom lane in the meantime, but again, with all outer towers already destroyed in favor of complexity, you have that 13.5 thousand gold lead, 10.7k experience lead. Are going to start breaking into the base now here. Two minutes left on Tokens like. as well. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> Forgot about that. And obviously, the Shrunken Head also finished. Ooh, hook attempt right there. Going to miss. Yeah. Tried to hit Keeper of the Forest. Just a little bit to the left, though. Super KJE is a formidable hooker. That's. <laughs> Uh, also coming out right there, tower. just again clean out the creep wave tower will fall though, in favor of complexity as he said. The token of life still about under two minutes now. Look at this, uh, Nature's Valley sitting right next to the animated tree. Uh, so trying to give that, and there's the chuck actually can be used to kind of get some creep kills there and harass a little bit. Well, obviously, again they have the four portal keys here, so they got plenty of jump chance. But Lion Esports Club is playing pretty deep in their base as they should. And not giving them the obvious opportunity by any means. Both Wild Soul and Boobie have boots now, by the way. Yeah. Are able to finish that at least. Oh, the Whoa. big hook on M4 right there. In comes the Devour. Tempest trying to get there n close enough, but not going to be enough. And Tango going to be proc on the Pebbles right there. But Pebbles is going to start falling back, so that's what they're <laughs> looking for. Man, you know, the Engineer turret placement yeah. also helping cancel the portal keys. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, that and the Mocha Brilliance. I mean, Pretty good seal kid. Uh huh. There's a good amount of that. Yeah, so. you know, of course, the mock as well. We're talking trunk and eventually going to come out, though. I mean, the turret was just one more thing. So yeah. 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 No, it, it is true. They do have the mock. So yeah. What the hell am I saying? <laughs> but uh, again, getting those hooks though, that that, that is going to be the difficult thing for complexity, as we see right there. Not only a good amount of counter initiation, but devour lands a pretty solid hook, like right there. Then. Can get you off guard, and before you know it, it's a five versus four, just like that. So, yeah, hooks uh, four in the face there. We got a uh, how many more seconds left on this token? A good old 15 seconds. He's gonna let's clean up the ancients with it. He's not gonna be able to suicide the token or anything. So, token officially being depleted. Oh well, <laughs> this, this spies room, this spies room for lions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously you don't want to force uh, force it if you don't have to. They don't have the, I mean, they've got a lot of great pushers, but it's not like they have this farmed carry to break base with. Yeah. Yeah, that, it does go back to that in the end. I mean, you're right. This was a very built around a very aggressive get kills and make the action happen. I mean, when you look at the big picture, they only have three hero kills. <laughs> For, for the makeup that they have, it actually seems very, very low, to be honest. But well, it, it, honestly, it's the golden experience that matters. Yeah. Uh, the port coming out, but it's going to be too late. Or is it? Ooh, Keeper going in. He is going to root Wild Soul right here. He did catch Rally. No, Rally was not caught. Actually, Magma's following up. I don't know about this, though. If this is going to work out for complexity, yeah, they are ultimately just going to start falling back. Uh, so there was even more support coming in from Lion. So and yeah, Wild Soul is too beefy. Now what? There's a uh, Keeper roots down. Yeah, exactly. And how many seconds? 92 seconds left. It's uh, more room for Lions to reach late game. Mm-hmm. Less. So tanking up, staying alive, and buying more and more time for the Wild Soul. Despite uh, what happened earlier, he still is doing just fine here. Got the Ghost Marches now on Boo Boo. And next in line, perhaps that Soul's Bulwark, as we usually see. So 
Complexity, instead of trying to take a fight right now, especially with the keeper root being down, they're going to go ahead and once again kind of do a little bit of a counter push, and if not push into the base here. So we'll see if they can accomplish that. Although Devour's already ported back, as has Bubbles, so it looks like Lions is not going to let that happen at least easily. Bubbles or Pebbles will be jumped right there with the hook. Where's that follow up? In comes the Struggle from Pebbles on the meantime. The Capel just a little bit too late, and now Devour's actually in a lot of trouble. We do see the kill actually on the Engineer. Got the energy field off. Pebbles trying to run it. Then Tangle hits him, though, and Haxron will end up falling right here. So it ends up being a one for one. Definitely an exchange that you like if you're Lion Esports Club right there. Wasn't the prettiest ult to me, but uh, it worked out. The Compel from Rally just a little bit late, but it didn't matter in the end. Yeah, Lions just has no respect for CLK. They're like, you're the support, <laughs> you can go die. We don't care about you, so. Hey, you got I, the energy filled off. Yeah, but I lose job. respect. That's <laughs> Bad mannered Lions. Bad mannered Lions. Striders on Wild Soul. And I feel like we don't see this enough on Wild Soul. Yeah, no, you're right. It's like. We see them just with the red boots forever, and it's just like. Okay. 300 more gold, you're running at haste movement yeah. speed. Yeah, <laughs> getting around the map. Of course, it's. Yeah, no, no, it's awesome. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. I and mean, we do see it out of a lot of the more experienced Wild Soul players on Lop, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is true. Yeah, just obviously the benefit of going to the ranged form is that you do get more movement speed. But when you have Striders, as you see right here, it really doesn't matter. Um, so, I'm sure when Indeed. the buff goes off. But Anywho, he is going to continue to run around right here. And, uh-oh, he's going to run right into an FTP, though. He should have seen that. Pebbles and M4 are coming in right here. He's going to use the starters trying to go further up. <gasps> in comes Booby, though. We do whoa, see Pebbles whoa, whoa. trying to jump with a sidestep, no, I believe. No, no, Oh, whether you tangle and tangle. No, one hit. Maybe, maybe the second one. Maybe the second one. No, maybe the third one. Maybe the third one. No, no he's not close enough. Okay, Booby's going to turn Stopped around. Stopped to get out instead. Yeah. The rest of the team is coming or here, is though. he? He's actually... He's lurking. The sword of sight was here, and obviously that screwed things up for Lions, yeah. at least. Yeah. With a surprise factor. For sure. I mean, that was looking dangerous for a little bit. Was that a sidestep? I, I missed the Pebbles jump. Did you catch that? Initially, when he jumped Rally? Or was that just... Um, I don't know if you were watching it. I, I didn't, like, to I it didn't actually catch that Pebbles jump to Rally. Never mind. Probably was. 1,500 more gold saved from Wild Soul. On the Wild Soul there. Yeah. But, uh, Look at that, up. man. I mean, that tower's just going to fall. That, God, Boo Boo's so family powerful. Is, yeah, they've got the double ulties up, though. I mean, the Legion there takes down they an Elborn Tower. Tower. Boo Boo is getting low on life right there. He does have a resurrection, but need to be careful about that. But here we go, the Hellborn team. They are going to try to make an initiation. It looks like Devour caught in an awkward spot. Yeah. Boo Boo doing some distracting, though, <laughs> and actually is going to pull them in. Of course, eventually will fall, <laughs> but like I said, he does have the respawn, anyways. Pull them in. <laughs> Good distraction right there for Boo Boo. Tablet of Command on Rally now, by the way. Again, it's just a lot of just team support bulking up around this Wild Soul. And again, going back to even with the blunder, it still is honestly in, a, in an okay spot here if you're Lion Esports Club. Yeah, it's true. Um, well, he's already has 2,100 extra gold saved up, man. He's, he's beginning to take full flight. You see Keeper of the Forest finishing a barrier out of low. I mean, that's something you can't... Disregard here on the Hellborn side at the same time. There's a lot of bigger items being picked up on their side. You got Magnus with the Hellflower, Barrier Idol on Keeper. Uh, Pebbles, he has another 2600 gold. Tempest getting close to his own, uh, well, actually, probably going to be a Restoration Stone. He's level 16 as well as Tempest. And here's another Congor attempt. This time it seems like Lions may be a little bit more observant of what's going on. Actually, in the middle lane, oh, the Ooh. big hook on a beacon right there. The Shell Surf. <laughs> That was funny by Bubbles. He's Song uh, of the Sea, not even nearly close to it. But in the end, Beacon falls, and actually, Congress is going to be stopped because of that. Yeah. So Beacon thought he had some free farm in the middle. Didn't pay off, though. Senor Beacon has no buyback. That's true. Oh, you see the random hook right there. In Senor Beacon. No, 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 no. And I was wondering if Lions was maybe going to try to steal Congor, but not going to take That's, that risk. Uh, they are tanky. They are rather thick right now, but just... I have to get a free middle tower instead. Can't blame them. Take whatever you can map control wise while you can. Yeah. And they can do it safely here with this. Soul's Bulwark. Mocker Brilliance Boo Boo here. Leading the way. Again, the tower falling quickly as you'd expect. You do got to Devour thinking about a hooking right here. Keep the forest off to the side. Magnus the up in 15 seconds. Not to be tower. fast enough, though. The tower easily falls. And Lion Esports Club will retreat. Uh, and again, it's. <laughs> so as. <laughs> 
<laughs> I gotta bring it back up. I mean, that's awkward. I, well, I well, my point being that this is, this is looking more and more like a, if you're complexity, you are feeling a little bit like, okay, guys, you know, they just had a huge blunder here at the beginning of the game. We need to win this game, or else it's gonna be. Uh, <laughs> you know, the fanboys are not gonna let that up, to say the least. Oh, so. yeah. It's going to be a topic there, there's There's right? definitely a little bit more pressure on complexity now because of what happened there. Pound sign, best taunt ever, apparently. Yeah. That's uh. <laughs> yeah, they're going to go back in for Congra, though. Yeah. And well. again, the big picture, complexity, they are still in a pretty decent lead when it comes to stats. Yeah. I mean, you can't forget that, obviously. So Congra being attempted true. once again. It is true. This time it looks like it is actually going to happen here. For complexity. I don't see Lions doing really anything to stop it. This will be another token, maybe on Pebbles, most likely. Magnus even coming in at the last second. Congor goes down. So there's the token of life. Well, it's another 2,200 gold farmed up in the meantime. Cleaning up the opposition. And he's actually taken over as the top farm of the game overall. Yeah. 412 gold per minute now. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't show the whole story, but... <laughs> He has 2,100 life. What would his gold be right now? I, I, it, I know. I, if I he was, about uh, that too, yeah. Yeah, know, if he was something. Again, then this game would be a lot different if he, that never happened, obviously. But. Then in four report to the bottom lane. They're heading Ooh, up the sandwich. They're TPing, though. Both are going to TP out in time. Big TPs. Because that's that's resources used by complexity, distraction. Yeah. Time and Not time, wild soul, and well, Yogi Bear and his friend are continually farming. Have you seen the new Wild Soul skin, by the way? The one in the video? I thought you were going to ask me if I've seen the new Yogi Bear. No. <laughs> I didn't know. The new Yogi <laughs> Bear. Didn't they make a new movie of that recently that was They horrible? did? I thought. If they like did, I'm going to go rent it. In the 2000s, I think they made okay, it. I don't know. That's not, it was it's horrible. kind of far now, actually. It's weird to think about it. But uh, what were you going to say? Well, Wild no, Soul the skin? new Wild Soul skin. There's a video of the classic uh, Wild Soul oh, Spotlight. So it's an it old has skin. has a skin in there. No, no, it's a new skin. It's going to be coming out. Tomorrow, I think. Okay. No, I, I haven't seen I forget, it. It's basically like this robot guy with a weird-ass pet. Like, it's I don't even know how to explain it. You have to see it for Sick. yourself. You need to check out the classic Spotlight guys on Wild Soul. It's it's damn crazy. Uh, but it, something tells me we're going to definitely see him, obviously, as Wild Soul is pretty popular in general in the competitive scene. I'd like to see it to be more of a toaster dog. He turns into a freaking... Like transformer robot in his old D form. Really? <laughs> I think I like the ability so, is still called bear form. Is it like a robot like, dog or is it like? No, he's ju he's just a straight up like big ass robot. Yeah. Um, lots of potential loss there for a robot dog. <laughs> that's uh, well. I don't know. Yeah, you have to see it for yourself. Okay. Again, the, the okay, that, that's spotlight. cool. Uh, all right, though. But again, the pace of this game right now, it does seem like it is favoring Alliance Esports Club a little bit more when it comes down to it, and it's Wild Soul. Going to lead the way yet again here at the top lane and push it in. You do got complexity, group it up as five, and they know this is the timing for them. They're going to go straight for the mid Look at the engineer right here. He's like, ah, oh, crap, I'm by myself. Help me. He's going to start falling back, but Pebbles doesn't even care about creep waves. He's just going straight into the melee racks. Oh, the hook nearly hitting right there. That was very, very close, but not to connect. Good side step by Haxorin. I uh, see the vault I bought. A tablet four going to be right there. Pebbles. See the rock coming out. Magnus, that's an illusion, though. I want to fall for destroyed. that, and the melee racks will fall in the end. You see Boo Boo up here. Demonic Breastplate is finished, by the way. Honestly, it just helps ease their uh, anxiety having that melee racks fall. They no longer need to really worry about this mid lane as much. I mean, yeah, yeah the creep wave is going to push up, but you know what I mean. They have another tower now they can defend with on either side. Yeah. And uh, defending with the tower, obviously much easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right, actually. So now Complexity, of course, going to move to the bottom lane here. But uh, in the meantime, the top lane is being pushed in by Alliance Esports Club Creep Wave, at least. Riley's kind of leading the way. They're going to go for something right here. Pebbles up at the front Holy lines. Has that token, shit. remember? Devour. There's the big hook to start things off. In comes the shrunken head, though. So he's going to be able to prevent a lot of damage coming out. Energy field in the back. On Rally being caught way up here. He needs to get back. The energy field still down, of course. Rally can at least compel away. No, it's just not going to happen. He already compelled. Down he goes. Give me the force. A big rear right there. It actually hits Wild Soul. Here's the follow-up on a Wild Soul now. He just bought as well. He cannot buy back. Eruption channel. Not going to be able to portal key, though. 
The Mocker Blades most likely to start from now. The Barrel will eventually fall. Nip 4 gets hooked in right there from Devour. She's going to start falling back. Big kill for coming out the hitting goal 5 in the meantime. Pebbles also pretty damn low. Buyback on a rally. Down goes Nip 4 right there. Tempest all the way in the background, but no follow up for Tempest. He does have a Restoration Stone, though. So double Tempest Ultimate is in the books. Oh, the hook just before the resurrection. If he timed that a half a second later, that would have been a hook on a Pebbles right there. And that could have very likely been another kill. In the end, they all stay alive, and they are going to fall back. Atlanta Esports Club, there was two buybacks? No, just the one, actually, on a rally, it looks like. Yeah, see, the hook was great. The engineer ulti was great. The problem is the rally was out of position there. So him being caught out, it didn't really let them do too, as much as they would have liked. I should put it that way. Yeah. Uh, still, drained to the token, and, well, you know what next Concord kill means. Bananas. Bananas. Bananas yeah. will be coming out next. Big, big deal there. Again, the demonic breastplate was finished by uh, Wild Soul going into that fight. So now, now he's gonna build perhaps that damage threat, something like a Savage Mace here over the Brutalizer. We definitely see. We'll see what route uh, Wild Soul goes here. Yeah, Savage would be the prime material here for him. Haste Drew and bottled up on Magnus in the meantime. Again, you just look at the big items here on the uh -oh. hard side. Overall, okay, he's not so, go. so the ward was up there. I was oh, top lane, yeah. Go and then Nymphora port. Nymphora's by herself up here, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, Nymphora's not going to port on him because, well. <laughs> Nymphora can't join the team. Oh, bottom lane, Bubbles is going to be. Oh, the people on the last second. But Flensmeister will stay alive in the end. Yes, he portal keys away. What a compel right there from Krebs. And talk about clutch timing. Man, you're all hating on Rally. Oh, and look what he's doing. Yeah, Krebs will make look a big what he's place doing. there. That was huge, huge, huge. Nymphora is still not here. It can't be here for another 20 seconds. Complexity seems like they may want to may want to push though. They do got their cooldowns up. I mean, Tempest Ultimate is in it up, but again, Holy they do have a resto. Crap! Stuff. Look at that top lane and the bear is sitting cool. there, uh, whittling it down. This is a big push. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, Boo Boo great for that with that mock of brilliance. And yep. Just uh, burn the creep wave down, even with Maltzel not nearby. Yes, sir. So, uh, in the end, the still just the melee racks in the middle being taken out by Complexity. They still have a comfortable gold lead, but uh, Lion Esports Club has that wild so to lean back on. And we saw yesterday the power of a carry in that TDM versus Complexity series, where Complexity had that Moon Queen that was just farming out of her mind, and it eventually paid off in the end with the right clicks. Could be a similar situation here for, uh, for Lions. At least that's what they're banking on, really. When it yep. comes down to it, obviously it's support and everything else as well, but it is a big part of it is the carry. Yeah, Hanson's farm still just has, obviously when you see the mock with Wild Soul, just rarely, rarely, rarely ever tapers off. So, mm -hmm. yeah, just keeping it up and doing a great job. Would it be silly for yes. Wild Soul? I don't know. I'm just getting, what is well, it? Well, it probably is going to be, a, to get another Alchemist Bones here? Yeah, it would Does be. that seem like it would a be. It silly would idea be. at this point? Uh, initially, maybe yeah, but he needed the mock as soon. It, it would yeah. be fun. <laughs> I it would be very fun. It'd be kind of funny, yeah. If you gave him a second one, <laughs> yeah. This is like here. That would be uh, that would be awesome. Yeah. That'd be manly. Um, not gonna happen though. No, probably not. I like the builds on Rally and Devour. They're literally the exact same. Wow, I'm just realizing that they have exact same items in every inventory slot. <laughs> Yeah, they're just Steam uh, Booth, Power Supply, Helm, Tablet, Mystic Vestments, Homecoming Stone. That's what happens when you live with each other, man. I don't even know if they live with each other. <laughs> I keep saying that. <laughs> yeah, you have no clue. It's three out of the five, apparently. It's so. like when I say cookies and mookies are brothers. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't make It's so not true. This case, it might be true. That, yeah, you're right. It might be true. There's a chance. There is a chance. I heard that three out of five were three planning out. Five, out so the the, the yeah. chances are good. Yeah, they maybe. So, uh, either way, when you live with each other, I guess your item builds are off, too. <laughs> <laughs> that was the point of that. Uh, Abyssal Skull going to be the route here for Wild Soul, as far as this next item goes. Again, a solid item. For the bear, for the team, really, as well. Level 16 uh, rally coming out on top of that. How about how about complexity? What are they looking at for items? 3,800 gold saved up on Magmus, man. He actually just, uh, okay, I was going to say, he's redoing his boots. He buys post haste right there, as did uh, Tempest, I believe. Yeah, Tempest also has the post haste. Actually, has a restoration stone, remember, too, and that's kind of funny there. Yeah, well, they can do some sneaky pickoffs now. The lines up. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. 3,000 more gold on Pebbles, and there's 4,500 gold on Keeper, who's what is that? possibly working on a resto stone himself. Yeah, yeah. 
Top lane, who's up here? That's Big Kid by himself. Ooh, uh -oh, oh, the mocker brilliant's gonna do some work right here. Steam bath's gonna be used, but again with the mock, he cannot portal key away. There is a tempest nearby, and Infora is TPing in. Actually, this is pretty good positioning for the Hellboy team now. Wildstorm is gonna be caught out right here. Big compel once again. Hellfire's applied. Wildstorm running back in, but now falling back. Are we gonna see an energy field? Perhaps there's the energy field coming out. Tempest in an awkward spot right now. Tempest being locked down. Tempest is gonna fall Ooh. before he gets anything off. In the meantime, Wildstorm still, do still doing plenty of work with that boom. We're sitting in the face of Pebbles. In comes Rube. Big kick stun though to uh, knock back here with the force right there. While still damn tanky, of course. In comes the nature's found of Pebbles though. Big compel for Rally though once again. Pebbles gonna be combo seismic slam. So and nice. down goes Pebbles. Lion Esports Club coming out on top of that fight with a three for nothing exchange. It was looking like complexion. It was gonna have the better of the response. But no, Lion Esports Club holds it off. And you're throwing shit everywhere. Yeah, I just got excited. I got excited. I had to throw my mouse across the room. I mean. Holy crap, that <laughs> the compel, the tablets, I talked big. about it. I talked about it at the start of the game though, like the Ophelia versus the Rally, yeah. like they're all in, they have all this burst and Rally, if they jump in, they're not able to get anything. You know what happens. Yeah. Pebbles does have a buyback. Tempest does not. He He's up care. in twenty though. He's and you do have Nymphora resurrecting right here. So they're going to kill the tower. No, their range rocks does fall in the process. But they're going to at least try to get the melee racks right here. It's going to be close. Crap. And comes a big Magnus eruption. Bubbles with a takeover. Though. The full duration gets hooked back right there. Magnus does it. Look at Poo Poo. Just destroying the melee racks in the meantime. Oh, the big compel once again. The tablet on what? top of that. And Wild Soul will survive. The tablets and the compels are just insane. This game for Lion Esports Club. Absolutely oh. big for them. The Brutalizer. We yeah. got the Brutalizer. He says, screw Savage Mace. We've been waiting to see this. I feel like every time I've wanted to see Brutalizer lately, we've seen the Savage. And we finally get to see it. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Are we going to see the double Brutalizer? <laughs> double Brutalizer. Yeah, no, you, you see it on the main hero. Yeah. And you see it on the bear. No. It's got the double... Not, that's not, not even trolling. This has happened in real games. Savage by real mace. players and teams doing oh, it. Over a Savage Mace. Oh, bottom lane. Speaking of Rally, Krebson does get picked off. He does have a buyback. But obviously, Nymphora TPing in right there with a couple of heroes. And the post is on top of that. So, hold your horses. Complexity. Getting a good pick off. But in the end, they are going to fall back. Congor, the third Congor is up, by the way. Yeah. yeah. They may go <laughs> to do that. But uh, with that buyback for Rally, especially, and Ultimates being up here for the Legion side, it's okay. Kay. Will they maybe try to prevent Kongor? Okay. I don't think they are. They, they got that vision from Seal Kid. I'm sure they. It's uh, gonna let it. No need. They say. They say we got the late game. We got the racks. We don't care. Let them push base. Yeah. Let them push base. <laughs> we don't care. Have that damn token. Have another necessary handicap. They're saying. Oh. Well, yeah. They just uh, keep doing their thing. Late yeah, game so is in their favor. It is, but another token of life. Don't hack. ran and who got the bananas? They're still on the ground. It looks like Beak is going to pick them up. Yeah. Playing that, that magma. So, Riley doesn't have to buy back in the end, which is the good news there. Save that up. Again, Boo Boo just back to farm, or more so Wild Soul himself. But right. continuing to be tops in the game now. 466 gold per minute right here. The three tablets on top of the Rally Compel here on the lead. So answering those portal keys here on the Hellborn side with all those tablets. Yeah. It's basically what they've done. You know, now Storm Spirits, I wouldn't be surprised to see. Arcana on Flynn's Meister playing Bubbles. So he's actually going to be going for the Hellflower, it looks like. Indeed. So he's going to try to get some more aggressive play here for the team. Well, you're looking at the Restoration Stone and the... Uh, Double well, Restoration actually, Stone, wow. <laughs> Keeper yeah. and Tempest. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> two <laughs> two ultimates. Nice. That's a lot of big plays to come uh, out. That, that is. That is. That's a lot of lockdown. Excited now. It's a lot of lockdown from complexity. Holy yeah, crap! They all it takes is double root, double tempest ultimate. Technically, could be up to 16 the seconds of AOE lockdown. Holy Hands crap! Get me while just going ham. It doesn't care about anybody. <sighs> all right. Yeah. Just pushing with that boo boo, of course. Bad Here we go. Porting back to base. Hanskin's still pushing, as you mentioned. Just going to go for the tower. <laughs> I think it's dropping so fast. 400 plus damage from Boo Boo. Annihilated. 
Here we go, though. Complexity pushing the top lane. Talbot Ford on the Pebbles. He's going to be fine, though. The hook attempt already missing right there. Pebbles jumps on an engineer. That's a big pick right there. No energy field. He does have a buyback, though, which he buys back right there. Cupfield coming out, or the root coming out in the meantime. Uh, locking down Devour. Here comes a big eruption. Devour will fall. Shrek and being used. Compel the background on a rally. Big Tempest ultimate right there. That's what Complexity needed. Engineer will fall. Once again, I was like, no, he gets energy field off, but down he goes after. Hanskin is still somehow alive on the wild, so the Bears doing plenty of work right here. Keeper of the Force is going to fall, it looks like. The lockdown plenty as expected, but Rally comes back. Big size, big Simon and Magnus in the meantime. Pebbles did fall. Magnus is going to fall, though. Pebbles back up. The hat trick coming up for Hanskin, though. He's going for the quad kill, damn it. Where's the root? There's the root coming out, it looks like. No, actually, not in time. The big counter on a wild soul, though. Port Pack's coming in for the help team with the post hits and the buybacks. Big tablet still wants to get a wild soul. There's another tablet used, and Pebbles falling back to base. Wild Soul does not have Boo Boo. Yes, he does. It's in the well right now. The racks go down for complexity. So two sets of racks going down. Bubbles not going to put in right there. And here comes back with Boo Boo, though. So we'll see what's going to happen now. Complexity, they used plenty of buybacks there in the post hits, like I said. They're all five up. Yeah, all five are here to go. Uh, Devour is still down for another 15 seconds right here. Energy field not up for 30 seconds. Oh, they catch right there on to Rally. That is actually huge for Complexity to start this fight. The tower will fall. Big kicks done on a Keeper of the Forest. Though Keeper of the Forest is going to be entangled on top of that from Boo Boo. Boo Boo's doing plenty of damage again. He needs to be careful though. He does oh, no. not have a buyback on Boo Boo. Oh, no. Resurrection on Boo Boo isn't going to happen. Oh, Boo Boo's dead. This is bad. 80 seconds. That might this be the game it. right there. Devour comes back, but yeah, I think it's going to be too much now. Legion they don't have any fighting power. Sword. Hook right there on a Magmas, holding him down in place. Legion but we're going to see Mega destroyed. Creeps coming out for complexity here. And they'll be, of course, happy with that. So, I mean, Lions might not be conceded this yet, but, oh, geez. That was big with the kill on Boo Boo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, GG. The, the post haste, the Nefora yeah. port back, that was gigantic. Damn. That was. I gotta give old props to Complexity on that one, man. That yeah. Was, that was an all in push right there, and it paid off big time for Complexity. Yeah. Man. Uh, great jump. I mean, they they jump seal kid made him use that buyback. It. <laughs> that game. Very interesting. Very interesting game to say the least. I mean, we had yet another crazy finish here in game yeah. number two. Um, ultimately, again, big picture. We're now at one to one here in this best <laughs> of the five. So we at least have two more games, if not even three more, if it if it works out that way. But yeah, um, in a sense, it's also kind of just a, a fresh now best of the three series. When you look it is. At it it so. is nice reset. Um, nice job by the, the buy man. The buybacks of the port that was huge. It was huge. Well played by Complexion at the very end there. You know, again, they, they knew that that's what they would need to do. Obviously, you still look back. You have no, no, to. No, we no. have to, Emperor. We I'm have to. I'm not doing it. The Alchemist Bones, man. Oh, you got you. You just got to think how different would that game have been if that never happened? Really? I mean, the fact that they fought that strong and made it I that interesting know. was crazy. I, but there's no question. There's no question. It would have been so much different. It seems like. Anyways. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, great play. Yeah, no, Complexity very deserving of the victory. They played it very, very well in the end. It was a lot of fun to watch. And, well, like I said, if anything, hey, it's a good thing in the end. We got a one-to-one -one series here in the best of the five. Again, guaranteed two more, if not possibly three more games coming at you. So, ladies True. and gentlemen, one more break here. Well, a short break here. And then uh, we got game number three just around the corner. Again, you're tuning into the Sound Blaster Heroes League Grand Finals here. Game number three coming up next. <laughs> 